Okay, so usually all you do is put your title right here for whatever your article is going to be. As you can see, I got this and these two categories right here. And then if you guys want to write any content, you'll see these little plus boxes pop up here called add blocks. And you'll see a bunch of different stuff pop up. Like if you want to add some more uh, text, all you would do is click on this paragraph. And you guys can type in stuff. Now once we get right here, you'll see some images right here. And this was created with a gallery. Basically all you do is click on this add block button. And then you select gallery. And then you can go to either upload pictures or your media library. All your images will that you upload will eventually be in your media library after you do that. So you would select the images you want, however many you wanted, and then you would just click on create a new gallery. And then after that, you can add captions in if you want. And then you can click on insert gallery. And that can kind of just add to the look of your post too. And also if you go over here, you can click on link to. And if, say, if you guys wanted to link it to a different website or something like that, you go here, insert from URL, and you can put in whatever URL you want. So anytime somebody clicks on that image, it'll take them to that specific URL. Then if we keep going down here, you'll see some other stuff. Here's another image that I added. Same thing. All you guys got to do is um, click on this uh, plus button right here when it pops up. Click on image, then just upload your image or get it from your media library. Also, here's a button that I created. If you go back here and click on one of these pluses again, and you scroll down, you can see that there's going to be a browse all button, and there's a ton of other things that you can choose from. There's a button. That's how I created this right here. And also too, here's a YouTube video, and all you need to do to do that is scroll down here and you can click on this YouTube logo. And all you do here is paste in your YouTube video, the URL, and then you click on embed, and then it'll just embed the video right here for you. And say you guys want to center it, click on align center, maybe you want it to the left, you can do that. I'm just going to keep it in the center though. And then again, if you guys want to create a link to anything, again, you just go here, and then there's this little link button right here. And then you would paste your URL there, and then you click on this button. And then whenever somebody clicks that, uh, for example, this yoga right here, it would send them to whatever the link is that you paste it in here. And now if you notice all of a sudden the sidebar disappeared, don't worry. All you got to do is come over here and click on the settings, and it'll bring it back up. And then if you go to post, you'll see all this different stuff right here. Tags. So for example, top yoga poses for beginners. I might add this tag right here just to show Google that this is what this post is about. Then if you go down here, this is where the featured image is. And if I want to replace the featured image, it's the same thing as all the other stuff. You can either upload your own file or you can select one from the media. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the post and when you guys are ready to finally publish your article. For example, or say if you're not ready to publish your article, you can come up here and you can click on Save Draft. And that won't post it, but it'll just save it so you can go back and work on it anytime. And then when you are ready, make sure you have your proper category selected. Then you just go up here to Publish, click on Publish, and then you click on Publish again. And then you will see your post will be live on your site then. Okay, so now if you guys go to your home page here, I'm going to show you how to change this image right here. We're going to go over here to customize and click on that. And then once we get here, we're going to go down to where it says header image and click on that. And this right here is where you're going to change your current header image. Now all you guys have to do, just like normal, once you find the image that you want, you can just click on add new image or replace image if it says that. And then you just select that image and then it will automatically update it right here. And then remember after you do that, go ahead and click on publish to save the changes. I just want to mention to you guys too, if you guys need free stock photos for your website that are completely copyright free and free to use, you can go to this site here called pexels.com. And they have thousands of free photos for you guys to use. You can go up here to explore and you can just go down here and search through all these photos that they have. 
or if you want you can just go up here search anything you want and these photos are all free to use for you guys so the first thing we're going to need to do is be inside one of our posts here and then we're going to go and click on this plus button which will add a block and if you guys don't see this add block feature you can always go to your plugin section and look for the Gutenberg blocks plugin and that will allow you to edit your post just like this and then also have this block section show up so we're just going to click on this and then we're going to go to browse all and then we're going to scroll down here where it says media and then we're going to click on this media and text button and so right here is where you're going to put your content or your text so i'm just going to enter some in right there and you can also change the size of it too just by selecting it and then going here you click on heading you can switch it to any of these you want you want it smaller or if you would just prefer it be the same exact size as all the rest of the text, you can just select it here and then go to where it says paragraph and then click on that. That'll be the same exact size as the rest of the text on your post. And then over here is where we're going to add our image. So you can either upload it or you can select something from your media library. So I'm just going to go ahead and select one of these images here and then I'm going to go and click on select. And then as you can see the image pops up right here and then you have your text on this side. Or if you go over here you can click on this button and you can have the media on the right and then the text on the left. Or if you want to switch it back and do that. Now I'm just going to click on update. And then I'm going to go to view post. We can take a look at what that looks like. And as you can see right there, you have your image and then your text right there next to it. And that's how simple it is to wrap text around an image in WordPress. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial video. If you guys are interested in learning more about WordPress, you can check out my YouTube channel. I have a ton of WordPress videos that will show you guys step by step everything you need to know about WordPress and then also how to create your own website with WordPress too. If you guys enjoyed this video you can click the like button and then also subscribe too if you want and until the next video I'll catch you guys next time. So the first thing we need to do is go over here to the left sidebar and where it says plugins we just need to click on add new. And then after that, we're going to come over here to where it says search plugins, and we're going to type in duplicate page. And then this is the plugin we're going to use right here, and we're just going to install it. Then I'm going to click on activate. Okay, now that plugin has been installed, and if you guys ever want to configure any of the settings on that, you just go over here to the left sidebar and where it says settings. This will pop up, and you can click on this right here. And that's where you can edit any of this stuff that you want to. But if we go to our posts, and if we hover over any of these titles right here, you'll notice now it has this duplicate this button. And if you click on that, it will then duplicate that post or page that you click on. And then this will be the copy of it right here. And then same thing too with the pages. You just select the page that you want to duplicate and hover over it. And again, click on this duplicate this button. And right there you have a draft of the brand new page that you just duplicated. And that's it. That's how simple it is to duplicate a page in WordPress. And now if you guys want to learn some more on WordPress, I have a WordPress for Beginners video that I just released that you guys should check out. It's going to take you through WordPress step by step, everything you need to know about it, and ultimately show you how to create your own website. So if you guys have any questions or comments, definitely leave those below, and I'll try to get back to you right away. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.